lovely. It's like visiting my children. Um, and it's great to see them so beautifully displayed and the people still care for them so much. And it's, and it's nice to revisit. It's nice for me to re-see re the detail and the craftsmanship that we achieved. Yeah, I mean, I think when I first started, I was just terrified, you know, by the, even by the first season, it just seemed so unachievable. And I remember uh, Frank Dolger, who was one of the producers, just came to me and said, think about the whole series and where you'd like to go and just, just put little ideas in each place and then shut your mind to it and just concentrate what is in front of you now. And it was such good advice. He also said, don't use all your good ideas in one place. And it was really good advice because if you try and think of the whole thing, the, your mind would explode. So you just have to think, you know, each, each episode, each, each season in, on its own, really. Well, it was interesting because I think the budget stayed pretty much the same. But if you imagine in the first season, we had so much to make. And by the eighth season, we had so much stock that we could actually put the money into like one or two really big principal costumes. So it's just the dynamic of how we spent the money changed. Yeah, I think I felt it probably in like season two because because it grew so slowly. It wasn't a huge show when it started um, and it grew it grew to be what it is now. But in two, I remember I did, I think it was in season one, or I can't which season it was, I did the funnel dress for Marjorie and everyone just like either loved it or absolutely hated it. But I think as people grew to understand the characters, I think I designed very much in the character. So I don't think there were anything like anything like that again. <laughs> um, Lena Hedy, Hedy and I have always talked a lot about the costumes and we really understood uh, her character and, um, it was just interesting to develop, and I, I, yeah, I really enjoyed working with her a lot, and also with Sansa, with um, Sophie. Again, I saw her start as a child, and then she became this amazing woman, and is this amazing woman. So it was so, that was very, um, I guess, especially with Sansa, her costumes told so much about what had happened to her, and they had to say how she was dealing with it without her actually saying how she was dealing with it. So I thought, I really enjoyed working with her a lot. I think it would be Sansa's coronation dress. I think it was a great way to sign off. I love the fact that it was so detailed and so particular, yet it was on screen for like less than probably 30 seconds. And I just think that sort of underlines how much depth there was to the design of the show. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I like doing historical pieces, but I, I do love doing fantasy and I like doing futuristic. Um, <laughs> I don't like designing contemporary <laughs> because I don't think you have the, the same, you can have the same imagination usually and everyone has an opinion. Well, I, yeah, I read the, the first two books and I read the scripts and it was just the idea that there were no rules uh, that I could create the rules. Sometimes when you're replicating period pieces, it's like you're just replicating, you're studying something and then you're trying to make it as well as you can. But with this, you just, you can take from everywhere and it can be it, it's your taste it's how you see something it's like you know whenever we read we all read books in our minds we visualize how these people would be and I get the chance to actually do that for reality and sometimes that's tough because people have read the books in their head they see it how they see it and then I've designed it and sometimes it's not what they see and I'm sure they're disappointed but you know I can only do what I see <laughs> I mean the whole story that's what I was so great about it there are so many stories within stories um, and how sort of the evolution of someone for instance Daenerys starts and her brother looks one way and we go through 10 seasons and we get back and then she ends up looking like him because you see it coming you know and so that to me was really exciting that process um, and how we get there you know and we don't get there too soon you know.